Hi, my name is Elia Liboff and this is another video produced by Learn to Learn Gemara, a method of learning that helps when all else has failed, but you don't need to wait to that point to give it a try. Some people don't understand, you open up a Gemara, it's supposed to be a guide for life, they would expect it to say, do this, don't do that, do this, don't do that, and even if it's presented not as a list of things to do and say, it's presented as a collection of different discussions, um, you would expect those discussions to be talking about things that uh, come up in regular day-to-day -day life. So people are a little confused or surprised or disturbed, I'd say, about why a lot of times the Gemara seems to explain to be discussing situations that you're not going to come across in a everyday situation. Let me start like this. If I ask you for an example of a Dava Harif, a pungent, spicy food, what would you give me as an example? You'd probably think of chili peppers or something like that, um, hot tamales, whatever it is, something that you're going to eat and then you're going to have to go run and get drink down a barrel of water afterwards to get rid of the burning sensation in your mouth. So a Gemara in discussing a Dabba Harif uses, it's, it comes up when, in the topic of kasheris, keeping your plates and utensils and forks and knives kosher, what's milchik, what's fleshik and what's messed up. So a Dabba Harif comes into the picture and can complicate things. So the Gemara uses as an example of a Dava Harif a radish. Now if I ask you as an example of a Dava Harif, radish would, would not be one of the first things that comes to mind. Radish is pungent, it's a little sharp, but it's not so sharp you gotta run and drink down a barrel of water after you have one. So why doesn't the Gemara talk about jalapeno peppers and chili peppers? Why does it use a radish instead? That's because a, the Gemara isn't trying to tell us an everyday experience that we would have or a everyday understanding we would have. The Gemara is trying to stretch the limits and tell us what is the farthest reaching parameters that this halacha will apply to. If you use a jalapeno pepper, so of course it's harif, of course it's shav, you have to eat it and you have to go drink down a barrel of water, so that is a dava harif. And Gemara is telling you that a radish is a dava harif, meaning that the amount of sharpness a radish has, that qualifies already. That's enough to qualify as a Dava Harif. And if you use a milchik knife with a fleshik radish or whatever it is, so that's going to mess up your kitchen. So once you know the radish is a Dava Harif, you know anything which is more Harif than that, anything which is sharper will certainly be considered a Dava Harif. And anything which is less Harif, if you're going to eat a, um, a banana is not going to be harif at all. If you have a beet, it's not harif. Anything less harif than your radish, anything less pungent, even if it has a touch of pungency, will not be considered a dava harif. So anytime the Gemara gives us an example which seems very uncommon or improbable or even almost impossible, it's because the Gemara is not even trying to give us a list of the common experiences we will have throughout a normal day and how we should conduct ourselves. It's giving us a extreme case here, an extreme case on the other end, and then we know that this halacha, if it goes up to this extreme and down to this extreme, so whenever we are going to experience anything within that range, we'll know that we can apply, very safely apply, that halacha ourselves to the situation.